I'm Anne Merchant. I teach in a small country rural school in Victoria, Australia. Um, I'd like to welcome those of you who are still Tech Talk Monday. It's always great to have people from other countries with us to be able to share in the conversations and the learning. So I think it would be great if you could all write in the chat exactly where you're from and what your interest is in education. So if we just give you a couple of minutes to write in the chat uh, where are you from and don't forget to put your country then because if you say Adelaide people may not realise that's in Australia. So most of you have worked out the chat, we simply write in here, press send and um, just share where we're from. If you actually teach, it would be good perhaps to mention what year levels you teach, etc. So most of us have been able to do that. Thank you for that. In a minute I'm going to ask you to choose, to tell me yes or no. Uh, while the session is in progress, it would be great if you could use the emoticon. So if you like what's being said, you click on the little down arrow and a smiley face will appear. So if we could just practice that. I'm also going to ask you to give a virtual clapping hand. So you look to the side, to the left of the whiteboard and you'll see a little smiley face under your name. Um, you need to click on the smiley face and drop down the menu and you should see an applause there. So don't click the hand up. If you do, we assume you want to ask a question with the microphone. Um, there's a little clock so that if you need to step away at all, just click on that uh, timer on the face and it will show that you're away and then click it again so that we know you're active. So well done, most of you got the hang of those emoticons. Um, if you would like to ask questions, we'd love you to put your feedback, what your thoughts are in the chat at any time and maybe Lucas and Ann can watch for those questions as the time arises. Uh, let me just take you back to those tools. You need to now look for this little snowflake or laser light which is to the left on the long toolbar. If you click on that, you can actually grab um, the laser light and click on this world map to show where you're from. Or if you like, you can go down here to the clip art. And if you're in the clip art, you can find a little smiley face or a tick or something that you would like. Click on that and then we're going to get you to click where you live. So I hope that's not too fast. Click either on the laser light or select the clip art, look for a little smiley face or a tick and then whoops, we're going to get you to put that on the world map. So let's every, give everyone 30 seconds. So if you go to clip art, you need to click on common symbols in clip art and I've grabbed a little smiley face too. So there's a few of us from Victoria. So we'll have to spread ourselves out. Well, let me get another one. Maybe I'll get a star. So if we just put on the map where we're all from, Lucas and Anne have got an idea of the global spread. So well done, folks. Uh, Adelaide people, did you work out how to do that? It's good to see that Peggy's got positive feedback already. Okay, so, oh wow. So we've got Germany, USA, uh, Vietnam, which I think might have been Ireland, and the rest of us from Australia. And um, more people may appear as the time goes by. Uh, if I just take you back to these tools for a minute, this time we need you to look at that little tick here. So the tick or the cross. So click on that little drop down menu. Have you used Clever Lies before? Um, if so, give us the tick, if not the cross and we'll just see what the spread is. So did you all find that little tick cross box? I'll put the results on the board. And there you go. So Anne and Lucas, most of us are newbies to this tool, so we really look forward to hearing what you've got to say. So without further ado, I'm going to let Lucas and Anne take on the presentation. Both of these gentlemen are in Germany at the moment and when I looked on Google I think it was 8am in the morning for you people. So a, a virtual clapping hand to you, thank you very much for giving up your time to share this um, tool with us and we really look forward to learning 
how to use it. So, Lucas, do I hand it over to you and I'll let you and um, work out how you share the presentation. So, thank you very much again and we look forward to hearing what you have to say. So, thanks, Anne, for inviting us to your webinar. It's really an honor for us to take part in this. Um, during the presentation, Anne and I will switch uh, so it doesn't get boring for you. Um, in the first, we will tell you just a few sentences what we are doing with Cleverlize. Uh, then we, are, we will give you a live demo showing you how to build your own apps. And then at the end, we will also give you a short roadmap. So what is coming up next in the next one, two, three months. Um, if any questions, please just ask. Uh, then we will answer them immediately. So I will share my screen now. So Lucas, I had the whiteboard up. I put it on top of your app sheet. Okay. You may have to go back to that um, button or share the app or stop sharing and come back in again. Sorry. No problem. So I'm talking a little bit about Cleverlize. Um, Cleverlize is a platform where you can build and sell your own mobile learning content. Um, this means uh, our goal is to develop an app editor, online based, we will show you later, where you can build your own mobile learning content without any programming skills. So the biggest goal for us is to make it really, really easy to fill the content, to design your app, and to release the app. So we know we are not at the end uh, of our goal, uh, but we think we are on a very good way, and we are working hard to make it even more uh, easier for you to build your own stuff. So, Becky, can you share the screen now? Ah, okay. So, here we are. Just put this window to the other side. So, you just go to, um, for, for the start, you just go to www.cleverlize.com. This is the, the website you see here. And here you can find our app editor. You can register, it's, we can register for free. Uh, I already have done this as a demo account. So I just log in again. Continue, and now you get here to the dashboard. Here you see all your stuff you've built, all your apps you've built. Uh, now we add a new app. We call it now the English demo app. Here, yeah, this is the title. You can change it later, of course. Here you can uh, uh, choose which category it is. And right now, you in, you entered our app editor. So registration and and entering. Our app editor is really, really easy. Okay, now you are here on the, in the app editor. You have three main steps. This means build is a main step. This is where you can file your content. Content like articles, tests, flashcards, or RSS. 
and later on we are working on serious games but I, I will tell you later something on that first so first main step build second main step is design so you can make it individually your app and there's a fourth step this is distribute means uh, that you can offer it to your students or to anyone in the world so we will start now with build so just are you answering the questions? Okay. So we will start now with build. Uh, I choose an article here. So a new article. And as you can see, I have an, uh, on my second screen, I have a Word file that I already prepared for this webinar. So you won't see it now, uh, but I am I'm just copying from the from from the word file so we call it this article word classes and phrases this is the title of the article and I'm take, taking the text copy paste and I call it again word phrases so it's just a, a simple copy paste and now I can format this here you can format everything you can make it bold not bold you can make it small large I always make it large here the headline so here you can see this is the text and now I simply save it and on the right side you have a live simulator and here you can see everything that you've built so what class and phrases and here you see it right what you have in my case what I have copy and paste in so I show you again, edit. Now we will we will introduce uh, we will file a, a picture. So this is the library. We create a subfolder. It's for Tech Talk Tuesday. Folder. And now we upload a file. Just one second. So for the file, I select it from my desktop. Actually, here, take an article, upload it. And here you have it in your library and just double click on it and it should be inside here the picture save it and you can see it here in the live simulator so this is how picture integration works but we can't only do we, we cannot only do uh, pictures um, we can also integrate YouTube videos for example, here I take now the I will take now the the clever life, uh, YouTube video. Sorry. And in that, and now you see it's already embedded here in the article. Oh, I took the wrong, so please don't mind. We do it again. Uh, Travelize YouTube. You can see it here. Copy and paste the link we 
we will remove it and enter it again. So you can see the second time how to integrate YouTube videos. And now it should work. Now it is here. Save. And now you can see it here in the live simulator. And and it's embedded here. So and again the article. We currently you can currently upload pictures. You can embed uh, YouTube videos. You can uh, you can embed links. For example. Go to Clavalas website, and we want to link this. So Clavalas.com insert link, and you have the link here, right? You can you can uh, you can post uh, you can integrate a link on everywhere, wherever you want. So it's very easy to integrate it. So as I said, you can upload pictures, you can embed YouTube videos, you can integrate links to external websites, you can uh, choose uh, tables, and you can link to pictures. And currently we are working to upload videos, so you don't need YouTube anymore. You can, of course. And we are working on uploading MP3 files, so audio will be available soon. We click on Save, Plus, and here you see the link. It's so it's very easy. The link is integrated here. If you want to make a new article, just just go here and say Article Two. And here is the text. It's very easy. Save. And you have it here. You can go back in the live simulator. And here you have the article. And here you see the article list. So first article, second article. And now you can enter it. It's a little bit slow, the connection now. I think it's because of the collaboration here. Normally it's a little bit faster. Here you can see what you've built right now. So this is article. Um, you can also choose existing articles. Uh, all articles that you have in your account, in your for example, in my Cleverlyze demo account, all articles will be listed here and can be chosen here uh, with one click and save. You can also switch the order of the article. So from second article and first position, save order. And now you see we go back and into the article list again. And you see it's already switched. Uh, just drag and drop it, switch it back. It's very easy. And here you can remove an article if you want that. So this is article, uh, article for description pictures. Now we go over to the test section. Um, with our tests are very interactive. Uh, and with feedback, I'm adding now a test. And uh, we call it the basic English grammar word classes test. Uh, you can describe it, what, it, what it's about. Uh, it's about word classes and more. So. And now you can 
define the feedback. So uh, uh, by default, there are two ranges. 0 to 49 is failed, and 50 to 100 is passed. But you can add as many ranges as you want. So you can also say 0 to uh, 29 is failed, 30 to 88 is not really passed, and so on and on. 90 to 100 is passed. So, and then you can give individual feedback. You can define which feedback someone gets if he is in the range. And you can give detailed uh, feedback so there you can steer uh, your, your user. You can say, you failed the test, no problem. Um, read article two again. This will help you pass this test, for example. You can also delete it again. So we are taking now two. 3200 and we go on save so now the test the test the frame the test is built and now you can fill up your test with different question formats we have multiple choice so we call it multiple choice it's it's single choice multiple response from most of you it's multiple choice we have fill the blank close we have sorting and with matching. And you can also choose, as in articles, you can also choose existing questions that you've already built. You can integrate them. So we are thinking now multiple choice or single choice. You, you must not, uh, by default, here's, quest, here, here's it is named question multiple choice. You can rename it. So if you choose, if you later choose, existing question, it's easier to find the existing questions for you. We won't do it now because it takes more time. So I'm just taking a question that I've prepared. And here we have the answers. Now, adjective. And here you can choose which one is the right answer. You can also add more answer options. Uh, if you have only three, if you want only three answers, just enter three. So we will recognize how many answers there are. And then we only show three. We want now four. So we make four. Here, you have another option. You can give addition you can give a detailed feedback to each question so here you can define the text that the user gets if he has the answer that's correct or partially correct partially correct is possi only possible with uh, multiple choice and if he is wrong so you don't do that now but you can do that really easy. Here the question again you can format it in any way. Same as with articles. So articles, questions and flashcards, the formatting options are the same and you can also enter here pictures. For example, I, I take now the same picture we already uploaded. You can see it here, and now we will save it. We go back. Here is the test list. Basic English grammar word classes test. The description. Currently, we only have one question. Later, if you have more questions, the user can choose how many questions he wants to practice. 
we practice now. And here you see we have the question, we have the picture, and we have the answer possibilities. We choose now the right one. And you get a summary. Your score 100%. It was not so hard, it was just one question. And here you have the detailed feedback. And here you could give an, another feedback for each question. So it's very simple to build up your own tests. Here you can make fill the blank or close. One second, please. So we make the test again. First question is clear. Now we take a wrong. And here you see this webinar is hosted from. You can also write here hints. We make it wrong. And you see you get another feedback. So this is tests. Here you can here you can again choose existing questions, existing tests, uh, and you can import questions. This only works now. Currently, it works only for GIFT and ICANN formats. This is from Moodle. Uh, you just choose the the file, upload it, and then you can choose your question files. Uh, from GIFT and ICANN formats. Later on, we will also bring other formats that you can import. So, um, how is the question table? Everything? It's answered? Okay. okay. So, then let's go on. Let's go to flashcards. Flashcards is the same. As with articles and tests, it's very easy. You just choose a new card set. And you just name it. It's, it's about a card set about word classes. You can describe it. How to and save. And here you can add a new card now to this card set or an existing card. So we add now a new card and we call it about noun. I copy and paste again. And now I say, now this is the front side. You can also format it. You can here as well. You can enter pictures. So imagine you can build flashcards with the front side a picture, and the back side the text that describes it. So in my case, I just take text now, now, and on the back side, I write what the noun is. Copy paste. Make this bold, a little bit bigger. And save it. We go back here. Here we have another flashcard. First flashcard set. You can add as many flashcard sets as you want. And now you can study.
where there's a noun, and here's the back side. And here you can choose, uh, the user can choose known or unknown. Uh, there's a the Leitner flashcard algorithm in the background. This uh, priority, if you know something, uh, it, there's another priority than if you don't know it. So if you press unknown, the card comes comes again uh, sooner. So you can add as many cards to this set. You can add new card sets. So it's it's very uh, very you can make it very large. Another option is RSS. You can integrate your RSS. RSS here. So you just copy it, it inside here, your RSS feed, and save it, and it will appear. And you can enter a custom page. This is just one page. And here you can say, this is content built for Text Chart Tuesday webinar. Great. As you invited us. Mm -hmm. So, and for example, come uh, on, talk Tuesday. We are taking. We are taking link of the Terminalize webinar. We go back, and we are making here. We are inserting the link. So now it's as well. It's linked. So go back. And here you see now the custom with the link. It's just one side here. Here are the RSS feed. So now you've filed the content, and now you can change. Now we go go over to adapting the design and the the structure. So now you can. Adjust the, the titles. It's about word classes. And here you see it changes immediately. You see, test for knowledge. Learn intelligent. RSS relieved it. and this is about this. So here you see we've adjusted it, and if we, now I have here the article list. Okay, so this is the content side. Um, we did, I currently we have five modules here. Um, we are already working on other modules like uh, serious games. Uh, currently, we have a Hangman game. Um, we have we already have it in beta. So if you want to try it, uh, you have to send us your username. Then we will uh, we will uh, put your username in beta. Then you can try it already. And in to to. It's an overview of the next month. In next month, we will bring another game, and it is using the accelerators of the smartphones or the tablets. So then we are really using the, the accelerometers uh, and implementing into games. So this is the build section. Then you have 
now we go over to the design section. You see here, this is the current design we have. You can choose color scheme, scheme and there you can adjust nearly everybody, everything. So here you see, I choose now red in the header. You can red and green as you want. You can really adjust everything. You can adjust the background color. Okay. Slides gray. You can adjust the menu. You can adjust lists, article lists. You can adjust buttons, nearly everything. So you can try it for your own. Um, we'll leave that up to you. And we save this now. So you can adjust here everything. Uh, you can also uh, choose uh, a background image. Currently, these are only uh, demo backgrounds. Uh, and you can also upload your own background here. Select a file. We don't do that now, so we choose none. You can upload your header. Here, we, we also have four demo headers. Uh, but we now we will now choose uh, our own header. So select file. Here we have the file. Title pick. Upload. And here you can see your own individual header. And there's another option for designs. We have predefined designs. Um, currently, we have this design adjusted now. We have a chalkboard design. So if you choose this, the whole app is designed through in this style. Uh, and we are bringing another design, uh, a more modern looking design uh, at the beginning of June. So. But so you can build now your content at, at the end of May, beginning of June. You, ch you find will find here a new design that you can choose with one click, and it's I can, I can say now it's really looking great. So let me take the default yeah. design. It's a little bit slow now. So if something isn't working, just refresh. So going back to the default design currently here. Okay, so this is design section. Uh, then we have configuration. Here you see. This is the description of your app. It's about red classes. You can say and the tags. So, and now here, here's the app icon. By default, this one is set, uh, but you can also upload uh, your own icon. I choose now this one that I've prepared. And here you see it must be in 510, 512 uh, uh, size. And save. This is important. This icon, uh, if you want to release on the Cleverlize Marketplace, uh, then we will show this icon and this description. And of course, this title. We are working to bring in splash screens. This isn't working currently, not now, but we are working on that. So uh, we will uh, we will info you if when we release this. Okay, so we have configuration. We have the build 
section, we have the design section, and now we have the distribute section. The distribute section, you can test your app via this link or this QR code, uh, but you must be logged in into your account. So unless you publish, you only can test it if you are logged in. I'll show you this demo app, and here we have it in the browser. So everything with Cleverlize is HTML5 based, so you can use it in any browser, on, on any device. Uh, the good thing for you, you build it once, and we recognize the size of the screen. In this case, we have a laptop screen, and then we, we recognize we have here the list of, and we have here the articles, for example. But we recognize it for you if it is a smartphone or if it is a, a tablet or if it is a laptop. So we close this again. So you can test it here. And now you have another option to publish. Now you can publish your app to the Cleverlize Marketplace and you can publish this link. So uh, if you publish now, you can, this link is available uh, for everyone. Uh, you can uh, distribute it to everyone. So you have to accept this here and publish to Cleverlize App Store. And now here you see you can distribute your app. We will post this now. We will post this now in the comment section. And you can press it and uh, or copy the link and try the app as I showed you before. You can also scan the QR code here. Or you go to, to, to the App Store, download the Cleverlize app. It's currently available for iPhone and iPad, and there you will uh, see this content. Um, and can you release it for just a few minutes, the content? Um, currently, we are, we are checking uh, the, the content uh, that is going to the, that, that, is, that will be published to the Cleverlize Marketplace apps. Um, and after we've checked it, we will release it. Uh, later, we won't check it anymore. Uh, then we are uh, bringing, we are integrating a rating system. So good rated apps are up and bad rated content is not listed up. So, but currently we are checking it. So this means it can take uh, some minutes or some hours uh, until it gets released into the Cleverlize Marketplace app. Uh, if you have released it via this HTML5 link or via the Cleverlize Marketplace app, you can always update your content. If I change anything in the build section or in the design section, I come again to the dis distribute part, I update the offline content, and then everything uh, in, in the Cleverlize Marketplace app, we will show the user that there's an update to this content and the HTML5 link is immediately updated as well. So, did you release it, huh? Mm -hmm. So, we released this app now and we will, we, we, we already have released it in the Travelize Marketplace app for iOS. Um, If we, we, if we release it, or we, if we have released it, you see here the icon, uh, then you can download it in the App Store. Uh, you can download it now or, or have a look at it now. Uh, if you use the HTML5 link, you have the same, you, you see you have the same uh, apps. Uh, the only difference is if you use the Cleverlize Marketplace app, you can use it also offline. This means you can download the content into the app, and then if you're on a plane or on a bus or on a, on a, on a metro, you can also use it offline. And then the details on the 
maybe a little bit deep. So there was a question on, on on demo how to change the name of custom. Going back to the build section. So how to change the name of custom and we call it now about tech talk Tuesday. All right, Becky. And here you can also change the. So, Becky, I think you mean this custom. Currently, a field that we that, that we don't use. Uh, we will integrate this field later. But currently, you can leave it blank or just call it my custom. But it won't appear anywhere currently. So it's a little bit misleading. Maybe we will remove this field later. So okay. This is the distribution process. We have we have had now the build process, the design process, the distribution process, and now I will tell you something uh, a little bit about uh, the roadmap. So as you can see here, we have also the analyze section. Here you can see how often the content is downloaded in the Cleverlize Marketplace app, and later on. We will uh, bring here more analyzing features like uh, uh, learning behavior, like test results, like who make who made your test, and uh, information about your user. Uh, or of course, we are only uh, recording the the information if you want it. Um, we will start this development of the analyzing sector uh, at the middle of the year, so in June, July, um, and now some other points to the roadmap. At the end of May, we will bring in the new design of the apps, uh, so you can choose it by one via one click. Uh, in June, we will bring marketplace apps for Android, so then, you are, then we are really multi-platform available, then we will have iOS, iPhone, iPad, and we will have Android smartphone and tablets and HTML5, of course, we already have now. So you can use it in any browser already now. Um, did I forget anything? We will release uh, a first gamified app, a gamified uh, template. Uh, we call it Waterfall. Uh, we will release this in June. Uh, this gamified content template is using uh, accelerator and sensors of the smartphone. So we have already a, a, a prototype, and I, I can uh, I can tell you it's really really fun to build this and to use it. So stay tuned on this. Believe me, Peggy, it's really fun. Okay. So if you have built your app, you can go back to dashboard. Here you see you can see now the app. Uh, you can also remove the app. I will show you how to do this. This is an app uh, I've built before. Delete this app. some time and here back now you have the English demo app only and another feature we are having here is uh, cloning this means you can clone the whole app you can only clone the app without content or with content I clone it with content now and here you see the clone here's the original version here you see the clone 
and if we go inside you see it's the same and you can change it maybe to another language or you can make a second version uh, or you can make a free version and you make a, a selling version so uh, we have only eight minutes I'm coming back to the business model or uh, the possibilities you have uh, if you distribute go back to this distribution page you can distribute for free via the marketplace uh, this is if you release free of charge then we will uh, not currently now but in, in, in one or two months we will add uh, advertisement small advertisement soft advertisement in the app if you offer it for free or in the next two weeks uh, it should be possible to find here to define a price for your apps and then you can sell it via our marketplace and then we don't have advertisements in the apps uh, but we will keep a revenue share uh, of, of, of 35% uh, of the app and yeah you can sell your app uh, we will collect it and distribute it to you uh, all, uh, all of your sold content so you can now also make money with your content uh, for companies and, and also institutions we offer another option uh, this is a closed user section this means you only can enter your apps via password access um, but then in this case we come to you as a content builder and ask you how many users you have on on your app and then we will charge you for for each user you have on the app per month uh, in all other cases if you offer from free or if you sell it via our marketplace uh, we won't charge you for anything for, for building anything so these are the publishing and uh, monetizing and releasing information. Um, did I forget anything? Is there a question? No, no, no. Just mention that. Uh, I have to, uh, I'd like to mention, uh, we are currently uh, having a competition. Uh, go back here. Here you can win an iPad mini uh, it's for the most downloaded content uh, we will also we will uh, uh, we, uh, we will give an iPad mini to the one who has the most downloaded content and you can build your own content release it via our marketplace and then tell your peers download it download it download it and so that you get a, a high download number and win the iPad mini as well we are giving away uh, Amazon vouchers $20, $20 or $25 or 20 euro vouchers so you can have a look at this right now here good um, did I forget anything anything else to tell uh, go ahead Julie Hello, hi, Julie Lindsay here. I've just been having a wonderful time listening to you and playing in the background and I've got my app on my iPhone and I'm so excited about this. Just a quick question and you probably covered this but I, I missed it. So when you go back to, um, when you go to distribute, uh, if you want to update your app, uh, can you go back to design or to build and add more content and then do you have to distribute it again or does it automatically update? No. So, Linda, uh, Julie, you, you just have to go to the, to the, I'll show you how to do this. You just go to the distribute section. It was too fast. Distribute section and update the content. So, with one click, if I change anything on build and design, I go in the distribute section, 
and updates the content. Do you really want to update the content? He asks me. And I say okay, and now it is updated. So it's very easy. So and it's in real time. So, are there any other questions? Of course, you can contact us every time at, uh, at info at cleverlife.com or lucas at cleverlife.com. If you have any questions, uh, just ask us. We will show you uh, the solution and how it works. Um, Lucas, there were just two more questions. There's yes. one about office in Berlin. Are you going to be online education Berlin this year? And there was another question previously. Where does the teacher find the answers that the students are giving? Giving, or is it just the students get the feedback themselves? So the teacher doesn't know what they chose. Uh, can can you can you repeat the second question? Uh, when the students do the test, are they the only ones that get the feedback on the test? Or can the teacher see what answers they were giving uh, from the app in the back end? Uh, so uh, you want to see the results of the test that the students that you mean? Yes. How can we see what the students actually chose? Yeah. 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 Actually, you can see the summary of the questions that the student did uh, on your test. So you can see the, the answer of the students, how many points they have, so everything. Uh, is that uh, it answers the question? Uh, yes, but how do I find what the students answered? Where does it appear in my Clever Life app? So actually, if you go to the fifth step, the analyze, then you can see the list of the sessions, the test sessions that the student did there. So currently, we all you can only see how many downloads you have here. But as I said, in in yeah, here. So if you can. So, but this section, the analyze section, we are starting to build up. In, in we are beginning in June, and our goal is to analyze. The, the 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 things that you need and um, to so that you can make your apps better uh, even more better even better uh, but we are starting with this part in June so this is an ongoing process and um, we we can really make a lot of things here in this section. Okay. So Oh, sorry, go sorry. ahead. Yes, uh, to all of you, we have a lot of beta features right now. So if you send me your username on Clavelice, so I can turn the features on for you. So you can test that. Okay, well thank you very much. Our time is actually up. It went very, very quickly. So let's give uh, Lucas an arm a round of virtual applause. It was great seeing your partnership working together there. It worked well, someone answering our questions and Lucas demonstrating. Uh, Julie's just got one question in there. Are you going to add other categories for our apps? Would you like to quickly answer that? Um, uh, so you mean a category here? Am I right? 
for education. So we have currently we have the subjects math, English, and here we have education and exams. Does this answer your question? So KK, that was your question. Is it answered? Okay. Okay. Um, so we we will we could can also change this. So Peggy, no problem. Uh, we will change this. We can adjust the category, and you're right. Uh, doesn't sound that good. So we will change this. Okay. Thank you so much, um, Lucas and Anne. Um, I'm just going to step you through what's coming up next week, but people might wish to just ask more questions in the chat or give you feedback. I think you'll see already that Peggy and Julie are very happy with what they've been able to achieve today. So I thank you very much for coming and Anne, I'm sorry I forgot to add your name to this slide but I did <laughs> add it to the blog post so to say that you're with us. People can save the chat. So Arm um, and Lucas, if you need to do it too, you go to File, Save, Chat, and then choose where you want to save it and save it as text type. So just text. Uh, next week, I thought we would just have a session on playing in the sand bit. So people might bring along what they've been doing, tools they've been looking at. Um, maybe if Peggy would.